Hi Capricorn, welcome back. Thank you all for being here. This is going to be for your Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is just going to be a love reading for you, Capricorn. I'm going to be pulling from a few decks. Please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. I pick up on a lot of um, third party energy as well. And I could be talking about your person here. So just flip the roles. So I hope everybody has had a really good Thanksgiving. And, you know, y'all ate good and all that good stuff. <laughs> so let's see what's going on in love for you, Capricorn. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. So you guys can be notified when I upload new videos for you guys. Okay, Spirit, this is going to be for Capricorn in love. What is going on for Capricorn in love, Spirit? Please and thank you for Capricorn in love. good so let's see for you guys bottom of the deck we have friend this could be somebody that you know from your childhood doesn't have to be some of you guys could be finding a friend within yourself that's nice maybe you guys are learning how to trust your own self <laughs> okay Maybe you guys could be, I'm hearing like touching on some inner child wounds right now. You and your partner are doing the same thing. Could be, you guys could be marrying each other. But this, uh, maybe this is someone that you can trust here that's coming in for you. Yeah, let's see. What else for Capricorn? Frozen. So you and your person are, are not talking right now. Okay. So your connection is stagnant. Some of you guys could live in a cold place. Somebody could have been blocked off emotionally as well. Fear of the connection or fear of getting hurt. Yes. No. No, baby. No. So let's see. Sorry, Capricorn. So let's see. What else? for Capricorn so we have thought so somebody could be possibly be thinking about you your person could be thinking about you maybe over analyzing something could be a father figure could be a baby mother could be a baby mother or baby father but it says father here it could be the father of your child or you could be the father person could be thinking about you and their kids hmm what, what else for Capricorn one more I'm getting divine masculine energy certainty bottom of the deck we have joy so some type of joy is coming into your life maybe some harmony is coming within this connection here Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> For Capricorn Spirit. Some of you guys. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like somebody is kind of like maybe overthinking something. <laughs> somebody could be going through a transformation too. Yeah, going through something um spiritual right now. Somebody is definitely certain about something, though. I feel like they're certain about this relationship. They're certain that they, they want to be a family with you. They're certain that um, maybe they're realizing that they can trust you and you are their joy and their happiness here, Capricorn. Okay, let's see. Spirit, why is friend here for Capricorn? Four of Wands, yeah. I felt Twin Flame energy, though. This is the Twin Flame card for me. 11-11. I felt... Um, Twin flame energy too though, Capricorn. So let's see. Why is friend here for Capricorn? Five of Cups. Yeah. Then we have your energy behind that with the devil. <laughs> so yeah, something was very toxic. Somebody's disappointed in love. Like their love life has not been going the way that they wanted it to go. 
somebody has some regrets about this maybe letting these addictions or these toxic people or them or themselves get in the way of this connection somebody sabotaged something so let's see why is friend here somebody has some regrets about something why is friend here spirit for capricorn four cups in reverse two of cups wanted to come out again knight of swords and the four of cups in reverse so yeah somebody's rushing in here to talk capricorn or oh, this is you you're rushing to talk to the person that you love somebody the person that you can actually trust the person that loves you and you love them back here you you're ready to give equally to a situation you're coming out of the stagnancy you're not wanting to miss any more opportunities so you're going towards your person yeah or somebody's coming in towards you they want to communicate with you this person could be a little bit younger than you they're coming in quickly they're coming in like without a thought i feel like they've thought long enough here because i feel like this is what they're doing here thinking missing opportunities because they're overthinking they're doing too much <laughs> so let's see what well, who is this knight of swords for capricorn could be an aquarius we for gemini doesn't have to be four pentacles yeah somebody that held back from you yeah then we have this father figure the emperor divine masculine yeah what else for the knight of swords yeah somebody i feel like somebody was trying to hold back and control their emotions your judgment somebody's making that judgment call to come in towards you <laughs> they are this person has had an awakening or something like that they've been back and forth with this for so long juggling this trying to balance themselves out and I feel like they've been holding themselves back. They've been holding on to you the whole time, though, because they knew what this was. They just didn't. I don't know. They just wasn't. Maybe it's not a familiar feeling. They're not used to something like this. But I feel like they've been. They have control issues. Somebody was holding back with something. Somebody also could have been holding on to something from their past. And they're finally releasing that. Finally making the decision to come towards you. They're being guided by spirit here. By their angels and ready to make a decision yeah what is this four of cups in reverse five of wands yeah in reverse wanted to come out of conflict with you after a time a healing period of introspection and soul searching and and you know maybe researching some things maybe going to see a counselor of some sort somebody's ready to get out of this five of wands energy whether it be with just you or this could be them in their head here fighting with themselves this could also be other people around them that um has gotten in the way of you two or it could be yeah just what i said <laughs> it could be that it could be this person thinking that it could be them stuck in their ego you know this person could be scared of rejection rejection so they see that people could be really really after you because you could you know you could look good you could have your shit together like there's people fighting over you could be but yeah i just feel like i see this as mental conflict for this person this person they were up, up in their head a lot fighting and battling with themselves <laughs> excuse me and i feel like they're worn out now so they're coming in to talk let me clarify this knight of swords energy though who's this knight of swords spirit i'm going for the knight of swords the lovers yeah somebody that that you're in a connection with then we have south node so that's why i was saying let me clarify this again because the knight of swords would pair with the four of pentacles is somebody that could be coming back from your past with this south node energy it could be a karmic this friend is coming back because they're like they have they feel like they own you or something some type of possessive behavior it could be that for some of you and for others of you, it could be that um, there's a divine connection coming in or you and your person coming together. And this person was holding back from you and they're ready to, to come and get you. So take that how it resonates. Yeah. So let's see, why is Frozen here? Yeah. Five of Pentacles kind of like came out sideways. Okay, what else were frozen? Let's see Capricorn. So yeah, this person definitely left you out in the cold due to their um uncertainty about what they wanted to do. The sun and the three of wands. Yeah, it's like it's like you made this person happy here, Capricorn, but 
they just didn't see it. I don't know what they didn't see or how they didn't see it. But, you know, people people have to go through shit. You know what I'm saying? People have to learn their lessons at their own time. So I do, I do feel like they missed an opportunity out, you know, on you by sabotaging this connection, by leaving you out, making you feel like you're not worthy or, you know. So I just feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all went towards your happiness. Like, you really healed your inner child here. Some of you guys could, could have abandonment issues or neglect, could have been neglected as a child. And I just feel like during this time you've revisited a lot of those wounds that have been open and not really healed you know yeah like three of wands you're releasing the past here so yeah i just feel like there's there's been some work and introspection being done with yourself during this time of stillness with this person you've really been working on yourself and maybe you found your happiness and your peace okay for some of you because you're looking towards the future for some of you this could be your person right here coming back towards you you guys could live at a distance from each other but they've gained some enlightenment about something here yeah they're coming back towards you to come take you out of this cold because you're their happiness you're their wish fulfillment you're everything to this person you bring out the best in them and they're coming to get you i feel so let's clarify why is this five of pentacles here for capricorn the tower yeah this happened unexpectedly like you did not see that this you didn't see this coming at all this person could be um <clears throat> kicking someone to the curb too though this person could be having tower moments right now for leaving you out in the cold but i just see like something wasn't what happened unexpectedly like you didn't expect this to happen at all they left you on the cold they left you to kind of like heal your wounds yourself you know it's crazy how people do you <laughs> man but um what um what's the three of wands looking to the future six of pentacles yeah this person could be coming towards you to give you a gift they want equal give and take with you they do want equal give and take with you they want to give back to you because maybe you've given to this person you could have even given this person some money to help them out if this was them in this five of pentacles energy it could be vice versa but this person wants to be fair they want to balance things out with you What else for the three of wands? Ace of wands, yeah. Coming in for a passion new beginning. You guys have a very strong sexual bond here. For some of you, you guys are um leaving this person behind. For some of you, you guys could be going towards someone completely new. Going towards somebody that you have a good chemistry with. That makes you happy, you know. But yeah, I feel like this person is coming to give you... <laughs> This person is thinking about you sexually too. They're, yeah, they want they want to give you something. They could be wanting to give you a gift. Their gift could be their ping. <laughs> With the Ace of Wands, it could be. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna stop playing. They they could be wanting to give you like an actual gift though, uh, Capricorn. But they do they do see you as sexually attractive though. Just saying. Just saying. I feel like when this person comes in, it's going to come as a tower moment. You're not going to see this coming at all. Yeah, you're not going to see it coming. So let's see. Why is thought here for Capricorn? Seven of Swords, huh? Now, yeah, this person is being strategic. Yeah, they want to come in and tell you the truth. Let's see. Why is thought here? The Devil, Three of Swords, and the Moon. Should I take it, Spirit? Okay, take it. Okay, Spirit. <laughs> it's like yelling in my ear or something. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, so the moon rules cancer. So this does have a lot to do about, you know, with this person's emotions here, how they're feeling. Could be a cancer. So yeah, this is a lot of weird energy. Like the this the vibe just changed so yes this is this person planning though i feel like the seven of swords is this person's planning but with the pair with the seven of swords the devil and the three of swords this person lied to you about something they cheated they were dishonest they they were just not loyal they ran away from this connection due to their sabotaging behaviors their toxic behaviors or their toxic past and it ended up in a heartbreak somebody got betrayed here somebody definitely got betrayed yeah someone's first instinct was to run from this and they they 
sit they're they're planning something they're they're thinking this through here they're contemplating something with thought with this thought card so let's see why is seven of swords here though let's see the capricorn somebody's lies and deception caught up to them too because they're going through tower moments tower moment after tower moment i feel something has been exposed or something is going to be exposed too but with the six of wands in reverse yeah this did not land them anywhere something was not successful whatever they were trying to do didn't work whatever they were trying whoever is in this devil energy whoever tried to plan something here did not work at all it was unsuccessful somebody somebody's reputation could be going bad now okay somebody could not be seen in a good light this devil energy is you capricorn well the devil the devil tarot card is you but it doesn't have to be you and that toxic energy but yeah something here was unsuccessful <laughs> definitely unsuccessful what what else for the seven of swords sagittarius in reverse could be a sagittarius that somebody's getting rid of <clears throat> yeah with the south node here you could be getting rid of that fire sign and sagittarius also rules jupiter so it stands for uh, you know with it in reverse it's giving me bad luck because jupiter is good it's all about good luck growth expansion you know abundance understanding optimism but with it in reverse it's like something did not grow something did not get anywhere because somebody was trying to do something to someone and it didn't work <laughs> it really didn't work yeah then we got south node and north node behind one another so this could be like outside energy that was trying to do something and failed miserably hmm what is this um devil spirit What is this devil energy? The hermit. What else for the devil? The high priestess. Yeah, somebody was blocked from their intuition here. This came out in reverse. There was a secret that came out too, though, or it's coming out. But somebody, I feel like, was blocked from their intuition. Okay. You know, I feel the energy of somebody secretly doing something here. To sabotage something someone really planned this out step by step and they meant to do it too so i don't even feel like this is maybe your person i feel like this is more of like outside energy or something like that that tried to sabotage what you and your person has somebody likes to play mind games here with the high priestess they like to use their intuition but for the wrong reasons they i don't know they like to hide behind the veil. Like they hide, like to hide things. They like to hide who they are or what kind of person they are. What else for this devil and the high priestess in reverse with the hermit? King of Cups. What else for the high priestess in reverse with the devil? Mars. Mars rules Aries. Yeah, it's like, because that plan rule, you know, that plan that talks about aggression, competition, desires, passion. Somebody, what else would have priests in reverse with the devil? Three of Cups, yeah, third party. This, this could be a third party energy right here with the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords. Because I feel like there was supposed to be a reconciliation with you and your person and it got delayed. It got delayed due to some deception here. But this shit gonna come crashing down because somebody was doing something fucked up. You know, they were. This person here, somebody was not using their intuition to see who this other person was in this toxic energy. Somebody's, somebody's crown chakra was really, really blocked. Their third eye was blocked. I just feel like there was a lot of blockages here, but this is somebody here that, that has feelings for you somebody here has feelings for you but i feel like for someone i'm picking up two stories someone here is just emotionally manipulative they're they're very evil this person here and then there's somebody here that has feelings for you that wasn't using their intuition in the right way they got sucked into whatever this is what what else for this three of swords why is this three of swords here spirit Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, yeah, Pisces energy. So it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. 
so yeah it could be somebody that's coming in somebody that broke your heart in the past that you probably closed the cycle out with and they're coming in to give you to send you a message of some sort but you completely end, ended things with this person yeah this person broke your heart here i feel like this person here told you that they loved you they care about you they want to do this and that with you the whole time they were in this toxic energy they were lying they were cheating they were in some type of weird illusion or delusion here and they stabbed you in the back whatever this is yeah somebody got betrayed big time mm. I'm getting a message too. Somebody here likes to have a lot of people around them. Like they can't stay by themselves. They have to be dealing with somebody. Somebody needs to go within to heal. Okay. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Pisces, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Why is father here? Who is this father figure? Queen of Swords. Why is father here? Seven of Cups. One more for father spirit. Death. Okay. Yeah, so somebody ended something with their maybe their baby father. Maybe it could actually be their father. I mean, because love is not all the time romantic. It could be other relationships, you know. But somebody ended something maybe with their baby father, baby mother. It could go either way. Or just like maybe a authoritative figure here, somebody cut this person out or set strong boundaries with them because I feel like there was some type of illusion or confusion. Somebody needed to cut someone out to go through this transformation to heal themselves, to really go within and do some soul searching. I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords is was somebody that caused someone some confusion and illusions here. Who is this Queen of Swords spirit for Capricorn? could be an Aquarius, Leo, or Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. So this could be you, Capricorn. You set boundaries with whoever this is. So that way you can go towards your new beginning. There's something abundant coming in towards you, something solid, something that you can actually trust. Some of you guys are purchasing a new home or you're getting approved for something here. But in regards to love, this is somebody coming in to offer you long-term, something solid a marriage proposal, long-term commitment, something that you can actually believe in, something that makes you feel good here. But yeah, I feel like you might you might have had to set boundaries with some type of authority figure here to move forward. Let's see, what is the Seven of Cups for Capricorn? Mercury, yeah, you had to communicate something with someone. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini, so those signs could be heavily, heavily significant here. But, yeah, you had to communicate something. Yeah, I feel like you were very blunt. You were very honest. Yeah. What else for the Seven of Cups? The Star and Pluto. Yeah, so you can transform. So you can heal. Pluto, Scorpio energy, transformations, rebirth, deaths. Then we have the death here. So yeah, you, you needed to do some healing or someone needed to heal something with about themselves. But in order for you to like, if this is a connection that you want to heal here, Capricorn, you needed to really set the record straight with someone. Like you are not going to put up with this bullshit. For some of you, it could be a court situation. Yeah. Why is this death card here, Spirit, Capricorn? Judgment. Yeah, somebody, somebody's getting some bad karma, but somebody also made the wrong decision and, and they're going through an awakening process. They're going through a rebirth because at first they were not awakened. Why is this death here with the judgment in reverse? Page of Wands. What is this Page of Wands? Spirit. North Node, okay. So somebody that you're destined to be with is coming in to send you a message. They want to talk to you. This is communication here. I do see like with the three of cups, it could possibly be a reconciliation with someone that definitely has deep feelings for you. This person was not seeing clear for whatever reason. They made a bad decision and maybe chose family over you, chose someone over you. I don't know. But 
this person is coming in to talk because they want to heal this connection they want to start over they want to start something that is solid here this is somebody that you are destined to communicate with talk to be with i don't know this person is a part of your divine path part of your purpose here so there's communication coming with this page of wands somebody's feeling inspired to send you a message you inspired this person here somebody is looking out they want to start new they want to start fresh yeah so let's move these over here <clears throat> so let's see why is certainty here for, for Capricorn six of cups yes someone from your past someone from your past or someone that you share past lives with is definitely certain about you now they made up their mind they want to be reliable they want to be truthful okay they they want to bring positivity in your life <laughs> i do feel that with the six of cups energy this is somebody that you have fond memories with this person is nostalgic they're thinking about you or you're thinking about them here you could be dreaming about this person at this time you guys could be getting telepathic messages you guys could definitely be fantasizing about one another yeah with this nine of cups this, you're somebody's wish fulfillment what else for certainty for capricorn the star again, Aquarius energy in the world. Yeah. So th there's a cycle here. I feel like the cycle of them being uncertain or them, this karmic situation is closing out so they can come towards you. Somebody, somebody could here could be, a, uh, could heal people all over the world too. Somebody here is an astrologer or some type of spiritual worker. Somebody could do spiritual work online, like, like me, like have a YouTube or, or something. Or they work off their, their Instagram, their Twitter, or whatever. But somebody does some type of work here. But I feel like somebody knows that. Somebody is hoping and wishing and praying for this cycle to, to renew here. You could have met this person online. Doesn't have to be. Or you could be having to travel to see this person. But yeah, I do feel like this person, you heal this person in a very, very big way. <laughs> yeah. But a cycle did close and something is starting anew with this person from your past. I do believe that this is somebody from your past, Capricorn. So let's see, what is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome for Capricorn spirit? The emperor, yeah, your divine masculine. This could be your baby father coming back. <laughs> or did, no, it's probably, I don't know, because you guys, I feel like some somebody set some boundaries here with this authoritative figure or whoever this is. And it's going towards their divine masculine. Okay, somebody's going towards their emperor. Somebody who's very boss-like. This this uh, person could be Aries, doesn't have to be. Yes. Wait a minute, give me a second. Somebody, yeah, somebody that is um, ready to take action. The emperor is somebody that takes action. They don't just sit back and wait. They take action. They go and get what they want. So, yeah, they're coming in to, towards you to embrace this love that they have for you. Yeah. So, that looks good, Capricorn. I mean, besides all the bullshit in the middle right here, let's see what these cards have to say. Give me a second. Let me see something. Okay, close the door. Sorry, Capricorn. So let's see what these cards have to say for you guys. Fair guys, angels, this is for Capricorn. In this connection, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Bless you. My son does not feel well. Okay, baby. He does not feel well, like, at all. Thank God it's not COVID, but... Bottom of the deck, we have passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I mean, I felt the sexual energy here, you and your person. There's a lot of sexual energy. <laughs> okay, for Capricorn Spirit. 
soulmates yeah soul connection partnership agreement soul contract coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship clock need times takes time in time cycles time to heal progress the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman yeah that's what i thought that was these damn third parties man the chaser chaser and codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues fear of abandonment issue okay yeah somebody here was a chaser what else for capricorn okay <clears throat> mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection Dr the dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapt change heal and then we have the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life yeah i, I feel like this is for whoever this is in this, this deceptive energy that shit is over and done with <laughs> it's definitely over and done with so hmm. let's see Okay, spirit for Capricorn. The Capricorn spirit, please and thank you. Let's see what these cards have to say for you guys, Capricorn. deck we have fire sign leo sagittarius aries so that that sign could be significant and then under that we have earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so that's you but you could be dealing with somebody that has a capricorn in charge maybe in a mars placement wish fulfillment so your wish fulfillment is coming in i feel like a time of celebration is coming Bad influences, unsupportive family and friends, drugs and alcohol, bad habits. So this could be someone that has an addiction here. Turn turn that down, baby. You guys turn that down a little bit. That's too loud. Thank you. So yeah, somebody somebody here was not supporting you and this person. And whoever this is could definitely have addiction problems. Something I don't know. Something is wrong with whoever that was trying to get in between you two. Coming soon, very soon. Okay, so something is coming. I feel like this talk is coming. You and your person reuniting is coming. Then we have conflict. Confu confused on how to move forward. Arguments, disagreement. Okay. Rejection. Okay, so this person rejected you. Because they were so conflicted, I feel. <clears throat> Clingy. Holding on, won't let go. That fell over the snake and the chaser so yeah you you could be the chaser here capricorn or it could be your person but somebody was a chaser and somebody was a runner in this relationship sounds like a twin flame <clears throat> but it fell over snake too so this person whoever this is the snake energy won't let your person go like and then it says relax step back trust your guys time to pause i don't even see that card divine masculine yeah your divine your, your emperor coming in for you communication expect a text expect a phone call confessing yep mirroring look at them as if they are you yeah you two mirror each other longing missing you desiring you connection friendship Friendly relationship, raised vibration, closeness. <coughs> Missing you. That call sounds horrible. Overthinking, triggered, mental prison. Retreat, get away, travel, new experiences. Flow, surrender, trust, go with the flow. And... <coughs> 
Temptation, physical love, forbidden. Bottom of the deck, we have unexpected, surprise, shocking news. So something surprising is coming in. Something shocking is coming in. You okay, baby? You got it, I call. I know. That's why mommy could, you know, gave you your medicine just now so you can be. Why you got your medicine? All right, so let's pull. I'm oh, not. We're gonna pull these last guys. Let's um use this. Oh no, not this. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Um, these are messages from like your person here, Capricorn. So. Spirit for Capricorn. Bottom of the deck we have, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. What are they trying to figure out? You are very attractive. Your intuition is right. <laughs> So whatever you're thinking, uh, Capricorn, you're right about it. I've been trying to forget you, but I can't. You're my happily ever after. I miss you so much. You're talking to me in my dreams. I can't get you off my mind. Yeah, I told you, somebody's dreaming. Somebody's having dreams. I'm sorry I let my pride get in the way. I feel the I feel the highest high like a roller coaster when you when I'm with you and in my feelings right now. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, children's situation. So this could have something to do with kids. Okay. And so then we're gonna pull from this. Now we're ready for this one. <clears throat> okay. This is for Capricorn Spirits. Please and thank you. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have why so serious? <laughs> it's not that serious. Loosen up, chill out, don't be pessimistic. Keep your sense of humor. Laughter is the best medicine. You are in charge of your happiness. Smile. You don't own all the problems in the world. <laughs> okay, so that's a message. Shoot, I don't know how it has anything to do with this. But... All right. To each his own. Agree to disagree. Different opinions. Stay authentic. A right to your own feelings, thoughts, and opinions. Accept this person for who they are and not who you want them to be. Let go of your desire to change them. Yeah. Okay. What else for Capricorn? What other messages do we need to hear right now? <clears throat> gratitude. Blessed. Gratitude is the attitude. Express your appreciation. See the beauty all around. Don't take anything for granted. Give back. Acknowledge all the good in your life. Count your blessings. If you focus on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. All right, what else? One more spirit, please. Surrender all control. Let go of expectations. Go with the flow. Stop fighting, resisting. Avoid wasting energy on things out of your control. The more you try to control something, the more it controls you, free yourself and let things take its natural course. Okay, yeah, because somebody was a chaser here. So somebody needs to just let go and let things be. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was your reading, Capricorn. Um, if it resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.